Here comes the danger up in this club When we get started, man, we ain't gon' stop We gon' turn it out till it gets too hot Everybody sing, hey, yo Tell them turn it out till they can't no more Let's get this thing shaking like a disco ball This is your last one and a courtesy call Everybody sing, hey, yo What's up, y'all? In my rage, and uh, yeah, I know it's pretty late, but I wanted to get a video out today, and this is gonna be part four. Part four that would have Naruto wasn't an assassin. Now, uh, for this, let's just say some spicy action is gonna be happening. I, I, I got some hook for y'all. Now. There's something I want to say before I start this. For the what ifs I make, and for anybody in the comments who want to have their own little subplots and the certain points in the story, like uh, if I'm doing a what if and I stop at the tuning exams, like if you guys want like a character from not Naruto to be in the tuning exams, or you want the fights and the, and the stuff that happens happen in a specific way or you have your own little ideas go ahead and put it in the comments and I will see all of them now for the community tab I put uh, I think it was like a hour ago I, I, I don't remember what time it was when I posted it but it was to see whether or not you guys were inter interested in to whether or not I should give Naruto Kramer or not. Now, at first I wasn't really going to. Because, you know. Uh, it wasn't really that much of a reason to. But, you know, the more I kept thinking about it. I'm like, this is fire we talking about. Krama is, well, he can be. He's a Kitsum, so he has flames in his own way. But, you know what? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Anyway. With that out the way. I'm just saying. If you guys are going to go in the comments. For any what if I make. And if you have a specific plot point. That you guys want to add to the story. To make it not seem like it's just me. With the story. It's us. Y'all. With the stories. Adding your own little subplots to it. I'll be perfectly okay with that. Because I, I want to hear from y'all. Now. With that being said. Let me stop talking my ass off and let's get into the the what if. Now, you know, it's a busy day in the capital because, you know, it's the day of the tournament. And it was East versus West. Yeah, I know. East versus West. That's how, how I'm going to do it. So, people around in the capital were filling up the arena as, you know, it. There are some people there giving out snacks, drinks for the fights that they were about to start. And so, you know, uh, the Emperor's, the Empire's best has to face against Kanoha's best. So, everyone, they're cheering out loud. It's really, really loud. Everyone's screaming and stuff. And, uh,. Just because I'm gonna have wait who 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 am I gonna have in this fight? Uh, Naruto obviously, Estef, Suryu, Leone, and I think that's about it. I think. And uh, for the other side, I'm gonna have Menma, uh, Neji. Kiba, am, am, am I forgetting anybody? Kiba, Menma, Neji, and uh, Naruko. Why not? Yeah. 
So, yeah, that's how the fights are going to go. And I already got, like, the bracket style in my head as I'm going with this. So, yeah. And, you know, the people, uh, I'm going to have, who am I going to have as a referee in this? Uh, Su Suzaka, yeah. Su Suzaka, for those who know who that is and for those who don't, just look up Su Suzaka, a comic guy kill. You'll see her. You, you, you know what I'm talking about. Now, so you, you know, so you, uh, she's there. Everyone's there. They're pretty much trying to hype up everybody because, you know, it's home home court advantage. This is in the Emp Empire. So, yeah, they got home court advantage. And, uh, Suzaka, you know, she's yelling out. Now, let's begin the first match. As she points to Kanoha, and she said the first person is Kiba, and the second person is Suryu. And so, yeah, you know, everyone, they're going a bit crazy. Not for Kiba, but for Suryu, because, you know, home court advantage. He, he got to boo the opposite team, or at least that's how some people do it. But anyway, the people cheered as, you know, Suryu came out. And, you know, Kiba, he kind of got a little scared when he saw Suryu. And, you know, Suryu, she saw this, and her Tegu, or her dog, Koro, and, you know, Akamaru got so scared that he just ran away and hid behind Kushina. And, uh, yeah. And so he's like, all right, I guess if we're going to be doing this one-on-one, Koro, can you go go back to Naruto? And, you know, Koro, he, he, he perked up when he heard Naruto's name and quickly ran to find him. And so you looked at Kiva with a smile that showed you about to be in for, for, for some shit. And so, let the first match begin. Suzaka said as she jump away. You can give up if you want. So I won't humiliate you in the process. So you said, and you know Kiba, he, he, he got mad at that. And so, you know, he made his fingernails, claws, and he started attacking Suryu. And she, she's dodging them all. And then... Suryu was getting a bit bored from her opponent, just keep trying to strike at her, but she can tell this man had no experience when it comes to real life fighting and stuff. And she can use guns, and and for the settings of this match, it's pretty much everything goes, pretty much. If you get killed, oh well, that's that's on you. But, yeah, she could use her guns, but she didn't. And, you know, she threw a punch at Kiba's gut, causing him to throw up a bit of blood. And she threw a kick at his ribs. And, you know, people could hear the shattering sound. And then she started to beat and deliver shit out of Kiba. You know, the Kanoha group looked in shock as they seen Kiba just getting manhandled. To give you an example of how bad of an ass whooping Kiba's getting right now, just imagine if, I'm talking about uh, original Naruto, imagine if Naruto, as a beginning, tried to fight Kakashi, but Kakashi wasn't holding back. He was going all out. So yeah, you can imagine how bad of an ass whooping Naruto would get. So yeah. So now Kiba was on the ground, beaten bloody with Suryu standing over him and Suzaka came out of the ring checked on Kiba to find out he was unconscious knocked out cold you know the winner of the first match is Suryu she shouted and you know the crowd cheered for Suryu's victory as she walked back to the booth and the medics took Kiba away and so that they can start the next match so yeah the next match is going to be Neji Hyuga versus Leone. Yeah. Are you two ready? Sir. Sure. Suzaka asked with both of them, you know, nodding and stuff. Then let the match begin. 
she jumped out of the way, far away, so that Neji got some of his, got in his fighting stance. You, you know, Neji, he still hasn't gotten that ass whooping from Naruto to where he's still on that fate shit. You know, Leone, she raised an eyebrow at this and said, fate? Fate for me to lose? Man, what type of bullshit is you spitting? And, uh, yeah, you know, Neji, you know, he's still ranting on about fate stuff. You know, before he could finish talking, Leone's fist hit him in his face, and now he was... Pretty much on the ground. He has a broken nose now. Yeah. And you know, Leona, she activated her tegu, giving her more of a animal looking look. And you know, everyone looking like, what is that? You know, uh Kushner, she thinking, is this a bloodline? And uh you know, Sakura, she's asking, What is that? And you know, they hear another girl laughing. In his mind, she's like, yeah, uh, that boy Neji over there, let's just say he about to get his ass whooped. And, you know, they all of them kind of shivering from that thought. And, you know, they ask her what is a tegu, and, you know, she explains what a tegu is. And so, yeah, Leone is slowly walking towards Neji like a lion getting ready to pounce on something. And she... Keep in mind, she is beating the shit out of Neji. The absolute shit out of Neji. This man is pretty much standing on his last legs at this point. And, you know, she tried, you know, he tried to throw a punch at her. She grabbed his, his arm, elbowing him right where the joints connect, breaking his arm. You know, he's screaming in pain. And, uh, yeah. That kind of hurt. And so, yeah. And I'm going to say this. I'm sorry for those Neji fans out there. And I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm a Neji fan too. I hate to do this. But, I mean, in this one, Neji's not that good of a person. Because, you know, yeah. But in this, he's still the whole cocky asshole to people. So, yeah, I might have to. Get get rid of them. Sorry about this, y'all. For those Neji fans out there, this is hurting me too. So Neji, he gets up with his arm broken, and he tries to throw a kick at Leone, and she does the same thing to his arm, to his leg, causing him to be stuck on the ground. And you know, Leone, she jumped up high in the air. I mean, high in the air, land and landed directly on top of Neji. And grabbed him by his collar. And for those who played the game, God of War 3, you remember when Kratos got the Nemia, those lion gauntlets, and he's just started punching the shit out of Hercules to where his face was literally smashed inwards. Imagine that, but times two of what Leone's doing to Neji right now. I'm sorry. I I had to kill Neji off. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. But, yeah. Remember, you can't get disqualified for killing, so... Yeah. So, yeah, Leona, she's punching the shit out of Neji's face. And his face is keep getting bent inward and inward and inward. And so, yeah. You know, Leona, she finally stopped. Neji is a literal bloody mess. And he's dead. So, yeah. That happened. So, yeah. Everyone with a Kanoha tender just thinking, that was brutal. God damn. And, you know, Hinata, she's pissed as hell off. But, you know, her her, her match is going to come up next. Don't. Don't worry. Uh... So yeah, I'm going to take a small little break, or the, they're going to take a small little break because they need to fix the arena after what Leone did to Neji. So yeah, they had to fix it up a bit. So yeah, after they was done with that, it was Hinata's turn. And you know, Hinata, she is angry, angry. Not only is she mad at, at, at 
the fact that she couldn't be with Naruto and the fact that she had to deal with the loss of her cousin dying. So, yeah, even though she he, he tried to kill her, but hey, it, it it is what it is. So, yeah. So, Suzaka, she said, as the crowd is getting cheered, cheering up, Hinata Hyuga versus Estef. You know, the crowd, they're cheering up for their top general of the empire. You know, they're all cheering Estef's name. So, are you two ready for the match? Suzuka asked the two as, you know, they both nodded their heads. And she said, begin. You know, both Hinata and Estef looked at each other, but Hinata had a lot more hatred. A lot. Like, she is pissed at this point. You know, making Esther kind of raise an eyebrow a bit. Why are you glaring at me like that? And so, Hinata asked, What is Naruto to you? And, uh, ye. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, Esther, she goes on her own little on a two hour pretty much or it felt like two hours of her just complimenting Naruto in almost every single way shape or form so yeah you know Hinata she is even more pissed at this point and uh yeah you know Hinata I'm just gonna say this she was a bit yonderish a bit just a bit just a bit but yeah You know, Hinata, she shouted out, die, as she charged at Esther. Esther, she was dodging her strikes. And, uh, Hinata, she is just going full out brawl. Like, fuck the techniques and shit. I'm trying to beat the shit out of somebody. And so, yeah, you know, with her fighting like that, it's making her pretty predictable to just dodge all, all, of, her, all, of, all of her attacks. And so, you know, Hinata, she does the twin lion fist. She said as she pressed, as both of her hands, you know, turn blue and they turn into lions. And, you know, she struck Estef really, really hard, or what she thought was really, really hard, making her smirk at this. I, I got you. But, you know, her victory was cut short as Estef, I'm using air quotes right now, Estef, Turn it to pieces as they notice it was ice. Uh, ice release? They're, they're everyone thinking to himself. And yeah, Naruto did teach Estef some ice style techniques from him watching Haku. Or a bit of Haku. Or what he saw. He didn't really see much since Haku was pretty much just spamming one attack. And so, yeah. You know, they heard clapping, and uh, Esther, she's clapping, and she's like, very good, of destroying my, my clone. And, you know, Hinata, she is pissed as hell. And, yeah, and Esther just says, playtime is over. Now to show you the attack that that Haku girl used on him and the others. And, you know, the ice was forming into something that made Kushina, Kakashi, Minma, and Naruko shot on what Esther was doing. Demonic mirroring ice crystals, Esther shouted. Then Hinata, you know, she was surrounded by ice mirrors. And Esther merged from one and made multiple versions of herself in the mirrors with her sword out. And she's pretty much Jumping from mirror to mirror, cutting Hinata, you know, in the arm, leg, just all over her body. And, you know, once Esther was done, she was above Hinata and finished it off with a axe kick to her stomach, sending Hinata straight into the ground, making a giant ass crater, and she was knocked out. Winner, Esther. Shuzaka shouted as the crowd cheered for Esther's win. And, you know, back in the stands, the Konoha group, 
was still in shock that they lost. Again. I, I can't believe this, Kakashi said. Now, I hope that your son and Naruko can pull it off, Jiraiya said. Kushina nodded, you know, her head, sadly, knowing that Naruko wasn't her daughter anymore. So, yeah. On to the next match was Naruko Uzumaki. And uh, I'm going to bring a little bit of surprise for y'all. And her opponent, Sasuke Uchiha. Yeah. I'm bringing her back to the story. So, from the sound. Yeah. From the sound. Wait, so Sasuke? Naruko said. Narco? Sasuke said as, you know, she got into her fighting stance and said, Look, let's forget about the, the past and give people... Let's forgive and forget. That's pretty much what she's saying. And just give the people what they want. And uh, Narco, she like, yeah. And so, yeah, you know, they both get in the fighting stance. So, are you two ready? Suzaka asked them, nodding over their heads. And she said then... Begin. She jumped out of the way. And you know, both of them, they're having a stare down. And then the two charged at each other, throwing some, swapping some good hands with each other. And, you know, got in a few good hits in as well. As you know, both of them jumped back and threw out some hand signs. Fire style, fire dragon jutsu, Sasuke said. You know, water dragon jutsu, Naruko said. You know, the two attacks collided with each other, and steam appeared around the arena. Naruko then did a notice of the hand signs and shouted, Uh, this is a technique I came up with off the top of my head. And this is from me playing Xenoverse 2. And, uh, yeah. Wind style, hyper tornado. You know, the wind attack, which is pretty much Naruko spinning around in a tornado, blew all the steam away. You know, cutting up Sasuke's arm a bit in the process. Her right arm. And so, yeah, you know, the two continued their fight as the crowd was cheering on as the fight was getting very good. The battle raced on. The two had cuts and bruises all over their body as the two were getting to the climax of the match. Yeah. How about we end this in with a bang, Sasuke? Naruko asked. Let's do it. Sasuke said. Sasuke then did some hand signs. And her hand was covered in electricity as a... Swirling ball was in Naruko's hand. So, you mastered it too, huh? Sasuke asked. Yep. I made a, a different version of it, Naruko replied. The two charged at each other and thrust their hands forward. Chidori, Rasengan! The two attacks collided and a huge explosion appeared, covering the arena and smoke, and everyone can't see through the smoke. And, you know, when the smoke cleared, both Sasuke and Naruko were on the ground. And Suzuka came on, checked them both, and finding them both knocked out. Both Naruko and Sasuke are knocked out, so it's a tie. You know, the crowd, they're all going insane. And Naruko and Sasuke, they had to be taken to the medical bay area to be healed and for the last battle and it's gonna be the last match Suzuka shouted as the crowd cheer now from Kanoha is Menma you know the crowd they're booing the hell out of him you thought LeBron James first game facing Cleveland was bad you thought Kevin Durant's for game against Oklahoma was bad. Nah. Those two 
And those crab boos ain't got nothing on this man. They're booing the hell out this nigga. <laughs> and his opponent, Naruto. You know, the crowd, they're cheering for their hero and chanting his name. And, you know, every Konoha's group was shocked seeing that Naruto was about to fight Minma. And then the two will be facing off against each other. But that's for the next part. I'm going to end it right there. So, guys, tell me what y'all think. Leave a like, comment down below, subscribe. Now, if you have any plot points for how this, how am I going to end this, let me know. And so, with that being said, I'm out. Peace. Yeah, I keep a tool on me if they got a screw I've been messing with my big homie They must be a damn fool I buy me some jewelry I pressure, I stay Round the clock, turn floor Class clown back in high school I'm in love with designers Fancy taste Laying down the recliner Stay in place And you know I keep a rocket Got a 40 in my pocket Niggas say that I'm the plug And I ain't talking socket For your love, run the race Cockpit, I drive Detour out of space Never been so high Used to feel in last place But now I fly by Dior, on my way Pull the trigger, he's fried